Okay, so what I'm going to demonstrate today are a few different isometric exercises measured with a crane scale uh, in order to test and see that we are increasing maximal force production with certain movement patterns and certain muscle groups that we find are extremely correlative with baseball performance. Uh, so the first one that I'm going to test, and I'm going to have to set it up so that the peak measurement is going to read, is a split squat stance. In this position here, I want to make sure that athletes are very, very strong in all the lunging and reverse lunging that we're doing is paying off. So right there, in that split squat position, I was able to accumulate 358 pounds of force. Now that might not be exactly a, a split squat for me, but it's still a good representation of the force that I could create in that position. If that number goes up as a result of training, then I know that all the, the unilateral strength work that I'm doing in the weight room is working to make me a better baseball player in some capacity. So now, the next area that I like to set up the crane scale is in a lateral position. So from here, I'm going to set it up similar to what you would find in a Paloff style press with the arms straight out in front of the body. In this position right here, I'm going to have the crane scale facing laterally again. Since I don't have a partner to watch the crane scale, I'm going to press the peak mode to hold that peak rotational force. Okay, so I look at that number, 63 pounds of force produced, that's pretty good. If I make that number go up as a result of strength training, then I know I'm more forceful in a rotational manner. Now, similar test what we could do, we could take a unilateral approach to this, taking one arm out in front of the body. What this is going to measure is how good the rear delt and the lat are at pulling the arm out in a similar manner to what we'll find when swinging a bat. So from this perspective here, if this number goes up as a result of strength training, then I know my rear delt and lats are getting stronger. And then here in this position, the pec and the anterior delt, adducting the arm towards the body. This is gonna be a very good measurement to make sure that all the strength training we do in the weight room is working. And then the last one, simply going to have it right out in front of the head, attached at the, the top of the squat rack with straight arms, you're going to pull straight down as hard as possible, seeing what the peak force production you could create from your lats would be. It's very important to understand that these are measuring tools. They're tr good for training as well, but most importantly, we want to see that we are having legitimate and reliable tests with all of our athletes. So if at any point you start to see the, the arms start to bend in a test that's supposed to have straight arms or the athlete's body start to lean in one direction or another or in this test obviously start to hang on the crane scale to produce a higher number then we're simply getting illegitimate readings and that's not going to be a very good representation of how strong they really are. 